All right, so the last gun of today's series is gonna be the Ruger LCP2. We've already done the um, Ruger 97 um, DC. We've done the Smith & Wesson MP Shield 9 and the Glock um, 27, which is a 40. All of these links are in the description as well as the top of the page. Let's see here. First thing we wanna do is make sure the gun is empty. All right, everything is all good. Next thing you wanna do is cock it back. Once you cock it back, you'll notice that there is a small pin right here. Move the light so y'all can see it. You need to remove this pin. Um, you need something that's such as a small flathead or something to pull it forward, but I've already kind of loosened it up to make it easier for myself. All you gotta do is pull that pin out. Once you pull that pin out, you can then decock it, press the trigger, and it'll come right out. All right, just like the rest of the guns in the series, we're gonna move the spring and rod. Once you have the spring and rod out, you can remove the barrel. All right, and as usual, I'm gonna use my rim oil wipes. I purchased these in a pack of 12 from Walmart. I'm gonna quickly wipe all this stuff down, fast forward through it on the video. Be extremely careful with these coils because they are double wrapped. All right, I could spend some more time doing this, but that's good enough for video purposes. The first thing you wanna do is place your barrel back into place. Once your barrel's in place, you're gonna take your spring and go ahead and put it back in place. Make sure your spring is sitting on this portion of the barrel right here. If you have it back here, it's too far. It has to be sitting right here. Make sure y'all can see that on camera. All right, once your receiver and everything is greased, you wanna look at your gun and make sure you actually have it cocked back. So you're gonna check right here. Show you on the light. This piece right here. Let's see, make sure y'all can see it. This piece right here, if it isn't cocked back already, make sure you cock it back. At that point, you'll be able to take your upper receiver, line it up with the rails, and you should be able to slide it right on there. As soon as you get it on there, slide it about maybe a half of a centimeter back, just enough till you hear it, hear a slight click. Once you hear that slight click, you should be able to go ahead and push your pin back in. When you're pushing the pin in, make sure you see, you're going to do it from an angle. Come in kind of from the top. Press downwards and then push your pin across. Your pin should go right in. You'll hear click once it's in there good. At that point, you can go ahead and cock it and you're ready to go. That's it for the Ruger LCP2.